So today we're going to take a look at how you can make your video feel warmer or look visually warmer like heat is in the thing where you get the wavy lines and stuff so we're going to take away and show you a couple of tips on how you can achieve this effect. So all we've done up to now is just place a video on our timeline. Next we're going to go over to effects and first we want to apply a tint because I want to make this video look warmer. So all I'm going to do is type in colour and I'm just going to pull on the tint and just pull it onto the clip. Oop, that didn't go on. We'll just drag the tint back on. And there we are. So now if we go to our effects controls, we can scroll down. And here is our tint section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the white to like a warm colour. You could do maybe orange. Depends on the warmthness effect. A lot of this a lot of this like effect depends on your personal like need for this effect. So I'm gonna go like with an orange. As you can see, that's far too much there. It's like a sepia filter almost. I want to take it down to about 15. I just want to light this a little warmer. So if I go to zero, you can see a bit of a difference. Maybe we'll go 25 on this color. We're just going to leave the black as it is, but you can play with that if you want. Next, we're going to go back to our effects. I'm going to look for turbulent displacement, I believe it's called. Turbulent Displace. Here it is just typing TUR and you'll see it come up. It's under the Distort folder. Drag that onto your clip. As you can see here, we already have quite an exaggerated effect. This effect really works well for video that moves. If you look here in this video, you're going to see now it looks different as it moves. So what we're going to do is, all I'm going to do is I'm going to change the amount. I'm going to take that down to about 15 again. Maybe put it to 25, see what it looks like. I'm gonna, you can also change the size as well if you wanna make it a bit smaller. So you can see there, we change the size of it. And if we play back our video, you can start to see when we move it in, that it looks warmer, like that if the heat effect you get on a hot day. It's quite decent effect, as you can see. There are some other settings you can play with, like you can click the displacement, you can use like smoother. And sometimes it gives this um, bit more of a uh, roundier effect, I want to say. I don't really know the word to describe it. But it gives a bit more of a roundier effect. You can see there as the camera's kind of moving slightly. It works better with the effect. So that's how you can give your video a bit more of a warm, heat, visual effect. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.